love the morning after a storm. Everything smells like air freshener. <laughs> Not our car. My dad says it smells like wet dog. Too bad, since you don't even own a dog. <laughs> Gasp! Don't even start with me. I slept in, my dad got to the bathroom before me, ugh, and I missed the bus. And then you fell in a creek? <laughs> no, and then I got splashed by a limo while someone inside screamed, I love my life. I love my life. <laughs> Today, my new Figurucci shoes arrived, I had all four bathrooms to myself, and dad says I've got the limo all day. <laughs> Why are you so wet? <laughs> <laughs> Sitting in class, watching the time pass. Can't wait to get out and hang out with my friends. Find out what's new, who's crushing on who. And it's never what's true. It's a whole new scene. In the pages of my magazine. The pain is fuzz. I want to know what is not was. but limo splashing has been in my family for generations. I have to respect tradition. I can't believe her. I know. Just like I can't believe my phone interview with Kelly Clarkson today. <laughs> George, George, cut the crying. You're not always going to be the sexiest man alive. <laughs> oh. Ciao, babe. <laughs> Guess you're wondering what happened to good old Mr. Shepard, huh? Not me. I can tell it's a costume. <laughs> Big Shot Network executive costume, to be exact. Now, how many of you guys have ever watched a TV show and said, I could do better than that? This week, we will discuss what goes into making a good show. Simple. Crime fighting and delivery girls. <laughs> Pizza Patrol, greatest show ever. You guys will play producers, you'll pitch a show, and you'll be graded on your content and delivery. This week's victims... <laughs> Rebecca and Amanda. Well, I guess we can get started tonight. Fine, but can you change? You kind of smell like wet dog. Pizza Patrol, where justice is delivered in 30 minutes or less. Tonight's episode, Penne from Heaven. <laughs> This is the one where Heather has to dismantle a four cheese lasagna. Or Jaxie will get caught in a meltdown. A cheesy meltdown! <laughs> a package for you guys from the set of Pizza Patrol, the movie. A thank you gift, maybe? Sweet! Yeah, I reviewed the theme music. It rocked. Not as much as the Pizza Patrol game I reviewed. Awestruck! Oh, <laughs> What do you think, dude? Is there another box? Where's the other box? There's got to be another box. Sorry, guys. That's it. Don't worry so much about a second box. I'll let you keep this one. I do not want the box. I want the jacket. Sorry, dude. Finders keepers. You didn't find it. And you didn't keep it. Whatever. I bet the jacket doesn't even fit me. I'm bigger than you. You're not that much bigger than me. Uh, it would probably come up to my elbows. You're not that much bigger than me. Let's see, shall we? Let's see. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You're right. I'm not. My mistake. <laughs> hey! So, Kelly, world tour then what? Acting, new CD, making creeps with a charming tin reporter. <laughs> Help! <laughs> Hello, exclusive Kelly Clarkson interview here. What? No, no fair. Go away. I'm telling. Sorry, Miss Clarkson. You, you were saying? Give it to me. I'm a way bigger Pizza Patrol fan than you are. You wouldn't even know about the show if it wasn't for me. Savages! I am a member of the Pizza Patrol fan club. See? It's in salami stamped. They give those cards to everybody. Now hand over the jacket! No, Can you please no. excuse me for a moment, Miss Clarkson? Ryan Seacrest is trying to conference in. Now, 
Yo, hey, wait, wait, listen here, Hooligan. Put those down. This is a once-in-a-lifetime thing, and you, and you are not gonna blow it. Take your hijinks somewhere else. <laughs> this... Sorry about that. Ryan's a chatty one. Oh, you want to wrap up this interview early? Well, I hope it wasn't anything I said. Well, thank you. Wait, Kelly, do you hear what I said? I said thank you! I said thank you. Okay, so you're saying we wear the jacket on a rotating basis, noon to noon, every other day? Exactly. You get it Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I get it Tuesday, Thursday, weekend. Three each, cool. <laughs> no tradesies. Wait a minute. Weekend is two days, no fair. No tradesies, that's the rule. You said so yourself. Uh, stupid, hard to remember two day weekend. Explain this to me again, but this time try it without the sobbing. Because of no one wilder in their antics, Kelly cut the interview short. Not only did I still have 247 more questions to go, I didn't get to pitch my idea for the musical about her life. Oh no. It gets worse. Because I was so sad about the cause of prep ending, I only managed to... Thank you. And she said, You're welcome. No, not the overly loud, sarcastic, you're welcome. Yeah, like how your mom says it when you forget to say thank you. Michael, don't worry about it. I'm sure Kelly's forgotten all about you by now. You know, for a friend, you're really lacking in that knowing what to say department. OMG. She said that? <laughs> you're totally the prettier twin. <laughs> oh, TTYL, MK. Can we just get this over with? Fine. Here's what I've got. Oh, you have notes? It's so cute. No, I have the pitch. It's done. Wow. If I didn't want to get out of here and over to my deep tissue massage, I'd be offended. Great, so here goes. What do all girls our age have in common? A desire to get to the point? No, a love of slumber parties. It's 40 Wicks, the series that covers snacks, truth or dare games, hostess tips, movie choices, snore. <laughs> I'd rather watch my stepmom eat a rice cake. <laughs> Fine. You come up with something then. Slumber party it is. <laughs> wow, you're sure early. I'm not early, I'm hiding. From who? What happened? I was at a Kelly Clarkson signing. Of course you were. In my lucky pants. Match your happy go shirt. <laughs> As I was talking to Miss Clarkson, this half man, half Beast bodyguard is all moving along, kid. So I said, listen here, gorilla. <laughs> Two seconds later, I'm upside down at a burlap sack. Okay, Michael, if people are putting you in a burlap sack, that's a pretty good sign that your story's over. <laughs> it's also a good sign that those weren't your lucky pants. <laughs> You're not gonna let this go, are you? I've come this far, and I have other pants. Yeah, scoring cool jackets is definitely a Team Buzz perk, but it's not the only one. I also get to grate cheese and the paper shredder. <laughs> only if I've made deadline. You fascinate me. Rotation time. Dude, give me five minutes. Dude, give me the jacket. Guys, I can't stay. Me and the jacket are meeting Sam Roberts for sushi. Hey, Mr. Jacket. Anyone want to hear me sing through my nose? Anyone? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Yeah! Uh-huh, Rebecca and Amanda. Welcome to 40 Winks, the slumber party show. Before we get to games or scary movies, let's talk wardrobe. <laughs> okay, um... I know I'm more comfortable wearing flannel PJs and hockey socks. It's like wearing a warm hug. Oh, oh. What are you doing? You're losing them. 
Hockey socks? Gross. <laughs> Remember, girls, just because your friends are asleep doesn't mean your sense of style has to be. <laughs> okay, let's move on to desserts. Amanda, would you please pass me the marshmallows? Sure, Rebecca. Here. <laughs> Looks like you're a chip off the old block. <laughs> Time for some flower power. Ladies, enough for the bad puns. Think about what's at stake here. Their friendship? No. A genuine leather pizza patrol jacket? <laughs> for a commercial break anyway. We'll be right back after these questions. Mm. Good job on the cleanup last night. Considering when I left the place, it looked like Willy Wonka's worst nightmare. Yesterday was kind of a fiasco, huh? Mm -hmm. I'm really sorry. I guess Amanda and I will just have to take that F. Fs are for failures. Based on who's more telegenic, Here's my solo pitch. Now, first I'm gonna have to go to Barcelona. A solo pitch? That's not, wait, more telegenic? I'm a busy TV producer. If you wanna argue, call my assistant. Girls, you are not getting an F. You're not gonna be working solo and you're definitely not going to Barcelona. Good call, it is off season. You need to find some common ground, okay? You'll present again tomorrow. <laughs> present again, LOL. And then we'll frolic with unicorns on snow-covered rainbows. <laughs> Ew, you're serious. Better saddle up the old unicorn. I know as her publicist, you're as busy as Kelly is. I'll hold. It's gonna be two days? I've waited longer than that for people. Yeah, I suppose that is pathetic. Check it out, gang. I bought leather protector. You may notice it smells like cinnamon. Hey, guy, it's 12.30. I expected you to pounce on the jacket half an hour ago. It's okay. I don't really need it right now. Or today. <laughs> See ya. Dude, if you want to hold my hand, just ask nicely. I'd probably say no, but... Here, I don't want you begging for extra time later. No, 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 it's yours. I want you to enjoy tonight. I want you to have it. No, no, you can have it. I'm just fine. Take it. You can take it. We look really stupid right now, Wilder. Start making sense. I want to trade. Tonight you want to go to Aunt Sophie's. Why should I waste the jacket on bingo, fish sticks, and hide and seek? Why, Wilder, your evening sounds delightful. Oh, and no tradesies. Just think. While you're hiding from your aunt, I'll be backstage with the bare naked ladies. Don't blame me if the jacket comes back covered in tartar sauce. We can do this, as long as you don't throw anything at me. Hello, self-defense? You had a look in your eyes. I had a marshmallow in my eye. This shouldn't be so hard. We're not that different. We both get our pedicures one foot at a time. We both walk before a traveling coach. And we both have our aromatherapist on speed dial. Now get the dust cloth off your head and let's get back to work. Face it, we have nothing in common. I don't get pedicures, I've never been on a plane, and I don't even know what an aromatherapist is. And this is my Baba's, and I think it's beautiful. We share nothing. Hey! No one will ever guess you cut your own hair with this look. Gee, thanks. Voila. Wow, I love it. Me too. Cool, you can't make cheap clothes look good. And I've always said I wanted to do more charity work. It seems we do have something in common. <laughs> no. We really don't, but I think we can work together. What say we hop in the limo, head back to my place and brainstorm? Okay. So, aromatherapy, is that when they like, massage your nose? I have so much to teach you. And 
As I said goodbye to my grandpa for the last time, he held my hand and told me he would always love me. <laughs> wow, huh? Were you wearing your jacket? No. I hadn't met the jacket yet. Oh. So where is it now? I've given it the night off to let the leather breathe. <laughs> so, B&L, floor seats, backstage passes, let's head out. Man, where did I put those tickets? Here. Entertain yourself with this picture of the jacket. Yes. Wilder. That must be some bingo party. Listen, I feel bad. You had a good idea before. Let's trade nights. Slow down there, Wilder. Is that if I had a million dollars? You're at the concert with my tickets? What do you mean Aunt Sophie's body surfing? The woman is full of fish sticks. Hello? Hello? Uh, that was a pretty little jacket. So, how do you feel about bingo? Does the jacket play bingo? Yep, still on hold. No, I'd rather not call back. Yep, already been called pathetic, thank you. WHB Fashion Television presents Amanda Pierce and Rebecca Harper. Everybody wants to look great without breaking the bank. And all it takes is a little creativity. You know when you turn your Baba's old scarf into a cool belt? and then wear it with your dad's wacky vest? Or when you fly coach to Paris, you can buy more clothes when you get there? <laughs> Say many feet. Watch Babes on a Budget, the hip new show for the frugal fashionista. Now, frugal may mean something different to every viewer. And host. But everyone wants to look hot on Not A Lot. This show tells you how. Yeah. Girls, now that is good TV. So was Aunt Sophie. You should have seen her. She was airborne. On purpose. A woman whose last live concert was Beethoven gets to meet the band? Seems reasonable. I'm gonna get some stuff to clean this off. Don't touch it! I still have 20 hours left. No, 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 I'm better than this. I'd never betray Noah, not for anything. Nice jacket. I know, it's awesome. <laughs> if you see Noah, tell him I'm sorry, but it's what the jacket wanted. <sighs> Wilder! DJ, choose one or the other. I have a better idea. You want me to solve this? Both of you get the jacket. 
Dumb, Struck! I'm about to deface star quality leather because you two boys can't play nice. And you're gonna let me? Go ahead, DJ. At least I'll be half cool. Which is 50% cooler than what you are now. No! No! This is... No! I was hoping that one of you would be nice enough to give it to the other. But now neither of you get it. Man, TJ's never seen anything as pathetic as us. And she's about to. Michael's still in the kitchen singing Kelly Clarkson songs to a frozen burrito. <laughs> Boys are so silly. Yeah. Tonight's episode of Pizza Patrol, Take Another Little Pizza, My Heart. Yeah, this is the one where Heather saves Jaxie from a wood-burning oven. She's got Heimlich maneuvers like you've never seen. <laughs> Thanks, dude. What's this? To Noah Jackson Wilder. One force field pizza shield from the set of Pizza Patrol! Sick, man! I'll be able to make grilled cheese from a different room! And <laughs> save the city from evildoers! Yeah, uh, I'll open it. Mm, oh, take it. No, it's okay, I'm fine. I, I insist. No, it's okay, oh, no, I'm fine. No, mine! Mine, 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 and nobody follow me! Uh, do you know what this means? DJ's a bigger Pizza Patrol fan than we are. Yeah? Chicken. Mm -hmm.